Hi friends, welcome to Classic Education YouTube channel. We are living in a world where the, there is a changing climate. The weather patterns in all of, uh, all of the countries across the world, there is a changing patterns in the weather conditions. There are weather extremes like in some of the countries there are heavy floodings, in some of the countries there are wildfires, in some of the other countries there are continuous drought periods. Okay, So these droughts, wildfires, floods, okay, these are called as the weather extremes. And so in some of the other countries where they are known for their temperate weather conditions, they are experiencing the arid type of conditions. So these arid conditions, the floods, uh, all of these extremes are called as the weather extremes. Now they are the indications of the uh, one very a well-known phenomenon called as the climate change okay the climate of the world is changing okay there is there are increasing evidences to show this changing climate okay these evidences are in the form of wildfires floods or droughts or the arid periods okay so we are here today to discuss one of such weather event called as the wildfire okay there is a raging wildfire in the European continent various countries especially in the western part of Europe they are experiencing the wildfires now let us analyze in this video why these countries are experiencing the wildfires okay what are those countries okay what is the climate change and what are the impacts on the uh, the planet as a whole <coughs> okay the context for this topic is that there are thousands of people who have been forced to flee their homes and thousands of hectares of forest land burned to the ground amid searing heat wave in the Europe. Okay, So the context is that the thousands of people have been forced to flee from their homeland. Now they have taken shelter elsewhere. Okay, Thousands of hectares of land has been burnt or the forest land has been burnt because of the one event called as the heat wave. Okay, This heat wave has caused the disruption in the European continent. Okay, Because of this context, we are discussing the concept called as the wildfires in the Europe and associated climate change event. Okay, The Europe battles heat waves and the wildfires. Okay, The heat waves, these are leading to the wildfires. There is increased temperature of 40 degrees Celsius, uh, especially in the United Kingdom. Okay, So there are various other countries like the Spain, Portugal and the France where thousands of hectares of land has been burnt and thousands of people have been forced to flee from, from their uh, native places. Okay, This is what is the report uh, given in the various newspapers. Okay, Now, so this is the part affected in the European continent. Okay, the western part, the which is the which is located between the Mediterranean Sea. Okay, this is the Mediterranean Sea and this is the Atlantic Ocean, right? Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea. The peninsular region of the Europe, that is the Western Peninsula, it can also it is also called as the Iberian Peninsula, having the countries like the Portugal, Spain, France. Andorra okay so they are all present in the Iberian Peninsula okay this is located in the southwest part of European continent okay it is surrounded by the two water bodies one is the Atlantic Ocean at the west and towards the east or at the south of the continent there is a one more body called as the Mediterranean Sea okay so Mediter between Mediterranean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean now th there are increased wildfires see there is one more country in this region this is the Morocco the Morocco belongs to the African continent okay so this is very near the just Gibraltar the Strait of Gibraltar it separates the Europe from the Africa so the Strait of Gibraltar is located at the tip of the Morocco okay so in Morocco also wildfires have been observed okay so this is the region where there are increased wildfires there are increased heat waves and increased temperatures okay Now, there is a trend. Yes, the, there is increased heat wave, there is increased wildfires, there is increased temperature. But this increased temperature, these, there is incre these increased extremes, they are very unusual this year. Every year, the summer season starts very late in the European continent. Okay, the Officially, the summer season starts from the summer solstice day, that is the June 21st. This is the longest day in the 
northern hemisphere it is called as the summer solstice in the northern hemisphere from this day onwards the summer season starts or it onsets in the european continent okay so because this europe is located at the higher uh, latitudinal areas so that's why there is a uh, late onset of the summer season compared to the equatorial countries like the india and uh, indonesia and some other uh, countries in the same region okay but instead of you know uh, the wildfires being reported uh later in the season okay this is the onset of the summer season that means uh in the july or at the end of the july the heat wave events would have been recorded but they have been recorded very in the beginning of the season or uh, before the beginning of the summer season in the european continent okay some countries in the europe have been facing the worst of europe's extraordinary heat wave okay this is the extraordinary heat wave condition these types of conditions are experienced only once in a decades okay so even before the official start of the summer season that is from june 21st and wildfires have ravaged all these countries okay the countries located in the western part of europe they have been ravaged with the wildfires okay the fires are being fanned by earlier than usual extreme temperatures and drought conditions okay there is a earlier than usual okay usually these extreme conditions like the more temperature and the drought like situations will start to occur from the later part of the july but they have already started in the month of june itself we have taken up this discussion very late okay when the situation went beyond the control when there is a you know uh, very uncontrollable condition in the europe we have been discussing this uh, topic but this situation has already started in the month of may itself okay now it has become very severe wildfire experts see the clear climate change signatures in the dryness high heat and the early fire season okay this is the season of fire because of the wildfires because of the increased forest fires uh, because of these fires it is called as the season of fires okay this is early so in this season of fire the experts are you know they are opining or they are you know uh, they are expressing their opinion that there is a clear indication of climate change behind these events okay the europe's earliest heat wave this year sent the mercury past 40 degrees celsius temperatures that are expected only in the july or the august okay i said in one of the previous slides that the uk especially it is you know experiencing 40 degrees celsius temperature okay this kind of high temperature is experienced only later half of the june or in the month of august but they have already experienced in the month of june and as well as in the beginning of the july okay so this is how there is a early onset of the fire season or early onset onset of the summer season or extreme summer season okay the europe's wildfire season is starting earlier each year see this is not the new trend every year this summer season or the season of fire is being preponed instead of you know having or instead of you know being onset in the same period of time this onset of summer season is you know uh, preponing itself okay so this preponment of the events is because of the climate change see if you look into this graph there is a clear indication that the season of fire or the extreme weather season or extreme heat wave conditions are you know preponed year after year so this yellow line indicates it is the average okay cumulative area of land burnt by the forest fires approximately 30 hectare or larger see they have taken into consideration an area which is a of size 30 hectare or more okay this is 30 hectare is occupied by the forests these forests are burnt okay so from 2008 to 2020 that means for 20, 12 years there is an average graph okay so during these 12 years the extreme season of wildfire was starting from the month of july uh, or it can be considered as from uh, august okay so this is the peak period from which the wildfires were increasing in the number okay so if you look into this graph this is the 2021 graph okay so here again that in july 
the wildfires have been started they are they are increasing in their number okay from july onwards but if you look into this graph this belongs to the 2022 here again from the march onwards or from april onwards there is a exponential increase in the number of wildfire occurrence okay so if you look into this graph and if you analyze this graph it indicates that there is a preponement of the wildfire season in the european continent and this is associated with the climate change impact now there are some studies by the united nations and some other journals they indicate some uh, novel things what this unep says let us look into that united nations environmental program it says in its annual frontier report in 2022 very recently this unep report said that the trends towards more dangerous fire weather conditions are likely to increase it is telling that these fire weather conditions will increase they are likely to increase due to rising concentrations of atmospheric greenhouse gases these weather fire weather conditions will increase because of the atmospheric greenhouse gases and the attendant escalation of the wildfire risk factors okay the united nations environmental program it is telling that in near future or in the coming years there will be increased number of the wildfires because of the increased emission of the greenhouse gases into the atmosphere and there will be associated escalation of the wildfires okay so this is the report by the unep let us look into one journal that is environmental research and the climate it is it has published one article in its uh, june edition of the 2022 in it in that edition it is telling that it is highly probable that the climate change is making heat waves the worse okay it is uh, it is also telling that the climate change is the reason behind the heat waves the, it says in the journal in this journal the environmental research climate it, this journal says that the global warming or the climate change will worsen the heat wave events okay so these are the two worrisome reports given by the very well known organizations in the world okay now how bad have the forest fires been in the europe of late from 2000 onwards okay there are increased wildfires but to what extent these fires have occurred let us look into that according to the european forest fire information system okay effic according to this european forest fire information system 2021 was the second worst fire season okay this is the second worst fire season for europe since the effis started keeping records of wildfires in 2000 okay that means this organization this uh, effis started to count or to record the wildfires in the europe okay in its recorded history of the wildfires from 2000 onwards 2000, uh, 2021 is the second uh, highest year uh, or the this is the year in which the there are highest number of second highest number of the wildfires okay in the europe so it also gives one data according to that data from 2000 onwards there is a loss of the forest area in some of the countries in the europe how many countries lost how much fires uh, forest let us look into that the turkey it belongs to the asia also but being very closer to the europe they have considered the turkey also so two lakh million uh, around two lakh uh, hectares of the forest have been burnt in the uh, turkey okay this is not million this is just hectare one lakh fifty nine thousand that means around 1.6 lakh hectare in the italy okay one lakh three uh, hectare in the algeria so these countries have lost lakhs of hectares of the land under the forest okay so that means lakhs of far lakh lakhs of hectares of forest have been burnt by the wildfires well the 25 percent of the total burnt area constituted agricultural land see whatever the land the countries have lost 25 percent of that belonged to the agricultural land and 28 percent belonged to the forests 
okay that means very productive area with respect to the food security with respect to the environmental security and with respect to the uh, with respect to the sustainable development these agricultural lands and the forest lands they are very very vital for survival of all the organisms including the human beings okay so these countries have lost very productive land in their countries so 2018 saw the record fires in the europe especially in the central and the northern regions okay in 2018 so this year in 2022 we are witnessing the wildfires in the western part of the europe okay that is portugal spain france uk germany okay and italy so in these areas there are wildfires in this year but in 2018 the central part of europe and the northern part of europe witnessed the highest number of the wildfires okay that means these wildfires are not restricted to a particular place they are changing their place from year year to year okay so the droughts and the heat waves in 2017 and 18 were the major reason for the wildfires okay in 2018 so that was the uh, the year which recorded the maximum number of the wildfires okay so for those wildfires the droughts and the heat waves were the reasons okay this year also the same reasons are uh, th there are same reasons for the wildfires in 2022 also okay now the according to the european union this is this is the cumulative number of forest fires okay so they have recorded the forest fires from 2006 onwards okay this is the average the this graph or the this line line indicates the average number of the forest fires in the europe from 2006 to 2021 that is for 15 years okay so this is the 2022 this year's graph if you look into this graph again there is a increased significant increase in the number of wild fires in the europe okay so in the from 2006 to 2021 for 15 years there was a less number of forest fires but in the 2022 there is a significant increase you can say there is a exponential increase in the number of wild fires okay so this indicates very gruesome the fact that the global warming is becoming the reason for this and the why the global warming is happening why the climate change is taking place the climate change is taking place because of the global warming and this global warming is happening because of the burning of the more and more fossil fuels from the human beings ultimately we the human beings are reasons for this kind of worrisome graphs okay now are the fires a result of climate change now let us look into the fact that i am again and again telling that the climate change is uh, leading to all these kind of disturbing events whether these forest fires are also the result of climate change let us look into that climate change is estimated to have made heat waves 5 to 10 times worse than they were about a century ago okay now the forest fires have become dangerous in their event in their occurrence 5 to 10 times that means 5 to 10 times increased intensity is there in, with respect to the wildfires compared to a uh, one century ago so now we are in the 2022 okay so in 1900 uh, you can say 1920s this was not the scenario so they were in 1920s or in 1930s the number of wildfires were less there Uh, the impact on the climate are with respect to the property and the life of the human beings was less but here after one century after 100 years everything has been changed okay this climate change is creating the worst heat waves 5 to 10 times worst heat waves compared to a uh, one century back okay so this is uh, enhanced by the climate change the global warming yes it is a man made phenomenon it is leading to extreme weather events such as hotter temperatures droughts famines rain floods which disrupt the natural weather cycles yes climate change is the result of the global warming okay global warming is the major factor for changing climates across the globe okay this climate change or the global warming is resulting in different weather conditions it is resulting in different weather extremes what kind of weather extremes hotter temperatures than the usual okay drought or the extreme droughts come uh, with respect to the frequency or with respect to the uh, longevity of the droughts okay famines 
the associated issue with the drought is the famine or lack of food okay the rains extreme rains are the lack of rains the some of the areas are receiving heavy rainfall and some of the areas are not, they are not recording the rainfall in particular year okay the areas which were known earlier for their high rainfall uh, ex, uh, high rainfall now they are recording very less amount of rainfall okay and the floods yes the areas which earlier which were uh, they were not um, recording the flood recording the floods now they are witnessing the heavy floods okay so a completely disturbed weather patterns are there right now on the planet earth okay this is all because of the global warming so these wildfires are also a not a uh, ex, uh, okay they are not an exception they are also the result of this global warming because the global warming will lead to higher temperatures and the droughts this high temperature and drought like situation or aridity will lead to the wildfires automatically okay so in that way these wildfires are the result of the climate change okay there is one more fact again which is very worrisome fact that is may 2022 just two three months back that month marked the highest level of carbon dioxide okay may 2022 marked the highest level of carbon dioxide concentration on the earth in the earth's atmosphere about 422 ppm so this is too much it is beyond the imagination it is beyond the controllable limits also so in 2022 may month the earth recorded the highest levels of the carbon dioxide that is 422 ppm that is parts per million okay the the levels that have not been seen in the 4 million years okay the earth has gone through various stages okay ice age uh, different ages the earth has witnessed and but during this journey of the earth especially very in the recent journey of the earth that is 4 million years that means 4000 years in the 4000 years for the first time the earth is witnessing the highest concentration of the carbon dioxide that is the 422 420 ppm okay so this kind of highest concentration of the carbon dioxide is leading to the the heat waves droughts and the fires okay these heat waves droughts and the fires are the result of this increased carbon dioxide concentration you know it very well that what what does this carbon dioxide plays with respect to the increasing the temperature of the atmosphere of the earth okay so the recent wildfires in the europe have all been linked to the hotter temperatures and the low humidity caused by the climate change okay now then what is the climate change now we have established very well that the climate change and the associated global warming is the reason for the increased temperature increased drought and the increased wildfires in the europe now then what is the climate change according to the united nations the long term shift in the temperatures and the weather patterns it indicates the climate change the climate change refers to according to the united nations the long term shifts in the temperature and the weather patterns okay these shifts may be natural yes the the shift in the temperature and the weather patterns they may be because of the natural conditions or they may be because of the man made conditions okay they may be natural such as through the variations in the solar cycle okay if there is a change in the solar cycle if there is a a uh, variation in the amount of radiation in, uh, received it may lead to the long term changes in the temperature and the weather patterns but what is happening since the 1800s so these 1800s especially from the 1715 onwards the world witnessed one revolution called as the industrial revolution this revolution has led to the consumption of more and more fossil fuels this consumption of fossil fuels has increased the carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere okay so but since the 1800s the human activities have been the main driver for the climate change yes the climate change will take place because of the natural conditions also but 1800 onwards the man has become the major reason or the major factor behind the 
the fast fastening or rapid change in the weather patterns okay so primarily due to the burning of the fossil fuels like the coal oil and the gas yes the man has become the primary reason for global warming in what way by burning the coal oil and the natural gases okay the the uh, these all natural uh, resources they will emit them more and more co2 and other uh, emi uh, elements into the atmosphere which cause the pollution in the atmosphere the burning fossil fuels generates the greenhouse gas emissions okay that act like the blanket wrapped around the earth okay so i think you know very well the impact of the green global warming okay there is a concept called as the global warming whatever the carbon dioxide we emit by burning the uh, fossil fuels like the coal oil or the other gases natural gases okay so this carbon dioxide will act as a barrier for the outgoing terrestrial radiation it will trap the outgoing terrestrial radiation but it will become the transparent for the incoming solar radiation okay incoming solar radiations they are okay they have the high frequency they have the very short wave length okay this co2 will allow the incoming solar radiation to pass through it okay it will allow the solar radiation to pass through it but this co2 the same co2 element will become opaque or it will become non transparent to the outgoing terrestrial radiation okay so this terrestrial radiation it is in the form of heat this heat will be trapped in the atmosphere itself this trapped heat will increase the temperature of the atmosphere more and more so in this way the whole globe is warming this effect is called as the global warming effect okay so this co2 will act like the blanket and it will uh, blanket wrapped around the earth tra trapping the sun's heat and raising the temperatures okay that means the co2 will become the major reason for global warming now the highest greenhouse gas concentration is taking place the greenhouse gas concentrations are at their highest level in the 2 million years okay so co2 or the co2 concentration now it is 420 ppm okay so this is the highest concentration on the planet earth since the 4000 years or 4 million years but the all the greenhouse gases as a whole so co2 is not the only greenhouse gas there are various other greenhouse gases like the methane also okay all these gases combined together they are in their highest concentration in the last 2000 years or in the 2 million years and the emissions continue to rise these emissions these greenhouse gas emissions will continue to rise because of the increasing population because of the increasing needs of the people because of the urbanization and the industrialization these emissions of the ghg or the greenhouse gases will increase as a result because of the increasing these concentrations the earth is now about 1.1 degree celsius warmer than it was in the 18 in the late 1800s that means if you compare from 1800 onwards the earth is recording 1.1 degree celsius temperature more okay now within just 200 years we have increased the temperature of the earth by 1.1 degree celsius so just by increase in the 0.1 degree celsius temperature there is a huge impact on the the linkages of the environment or the link linkages of the climate are the ecological linkages okay they have the huge impact on the connection of the all the organisms okay they have very devastating impact so let us not go into that just know that they will have the impact on the linkages of the ecology the temperature rise is only the beginning of the story yes the temperature is increasing but this is the only beginning of the story but the story will end in the devastating impacts okay there will be gruesome impacts like the uh, loss of the wildlife loss of the forests okay increased the increased the diseases reduced the agricultural productivity increased the extreme uh, weather patterns okay so but this increase in the temperature is the only the beginning of the story now what are the consequences yes temperature rise may be the only beginning but what are the other consequences they are intense droughts okay water scarcity severe fires rising sea levels 
okay this will lead to the submergence of the various smaller island countries like the sri lanka maldives okay reunion island they might be submerged in the waters okay flooding melting of the uh, polar ice which lead to the uh, the elimination of the various polar organisms like the polar bear okay the catastrophic storms and the declining biodiversity these are the associated consequences of the global warming or the climate change but whatever we are witnessing now is the heat waves okay which are leading to the wildfires but this is the only beginning of the story but there is too much to come up in the devastating story called as the climate change okay now every increase in the global warming matters yes even 0.1 degree celsius rise in the temperature will matter okay now according to the united nations limiting global temperature rise to no more than 1.5 degree celsius would help us yes all the global leaders uh, in the paris climate agreement they have decided to stop the rise of the climate uh, temperature of the planet earth okay they want to these leaders or the global leaders want to limit the rise of the temperature below 1.5 degree celsius okay but what is happening but based on the current national climate plans so this united nation has taken the average of the various uh, temperature of the various countries according to the data of this united nation the global warming is projected to reach around 3.2 degree 3.2 degree celsius by the end of the century that means according to the united nations by 2100 the whole of the uh, earth's temperature will increase by 3.2 degree celsius but what we have to do we have to restrict the rise of the temperature below 1.5 degree celsius but there is a too much gap between the expectation and the reality okay this is what the united nation is telling now but who are emitting too much uh, global uh, sorry greenhouse gases see around there are around 105 countries sorry not 105 205 countries are there on the planet earth we have 205 countries and 10 194 of them are the united nation members okay but out of these countries 100 countries are emitting the greenhouse gases in the very negligible amount okay they are generating only 3% of the greenhouse gases around 50% of the countries on the earth they are responsible for only rise in the 3% of the global greenhouse gases but if you look into this figure there are 10 countries who which are emitting 68% of the global greenhouse gases that means there is a too much disparity with respect to the consumption of the natural resources with respect to the the standard of living with respect to the exploitation of the resources okay with respect to the development of the country these 100 countries which are emitting very less amount of pollutants into the atmosphere they are less developed their standard of living is poor okay but they are resource rich countries they are not able to exploit their natural resources but these 10 countries which are so called developed countries they are responsible for all the major negative impacts of the climate change on the earth but something needs to be done okay then what are the solutions for this yes the climate change is happening they are leading to the wildfires and associated consequences but what has to be done the united nation has given some of the solutions let us look into only that solutions but apart from these solutions there are hundreds of novel ways to reduce the impact of the climate change okay now i will restrict myself to discuss only about the solutions given by the united nations what are they we also have global frameworks this united nation is telling that we have the global frameworks in the form of sustainable development goals united nation framework convention on the climate change and the paris agreement agreement okay through these frameworks these are the institutional ways and through these ways the various countries can implement the decisions taken in, in during these summits okay 
we have to strictly adhere to the decisions taken by them and the countries have to implement in their letter and the spirit of uh, these organizations decisions okay then only we can combat the climate change this is what the united nation is telling then switching the energy systems from fossil fuels to the renewables yes this is the major outcome in the paris climate change agreement okay so here they have decided to shift from fossil fuel based economy to the renewable renewable energy based economy that means we have to depend more and more on the renewable energy like the wind and the solar energy or other tidal energies then fossil fuel production must decline by roughly 6% per year yes we are consuming the gas coal and the oil we have to restrict or we have to reduce the amount of consumption by 6% every year all the countries must reduce consumption of these fossil fuels by 6% per year between 2020 and 2030 that means by 2030 there must be from 22 that means from within this 10 year period 2022 2030 10 year period every year there must be 6% reduction in the fossil fuel consumption that means by 2030 ultimately there should be 60% reduction in the amount of fossil fuels consumed on the world so this is what the united nation is telling then it is also telling that while a growing coalition of the countries is committing to net zero emissions this is very important net zero emission whether they are producing the electricity or whatever the developmental activities are taking place they should not consume the the fossil fuels that means they should not emit the co2 into the atmosphere zero emission of the co2 is called as this net zero emission okay various countries they have agreed themselves to restrict themselves for the zero emission by 2050 okay but half of the emission cuts must be in place by 2030 yes the united nation is telling that various countries they have agreed to net zero or uh, emit the zero carbon dioxide by 2050 but this is very long period before 2050 by 2030 itself we must reach the 50% of this target okay this is one uh, suggestion early warning systems for the disasters should be in place that means see early warning systems for disasters for instance they will save the lives and the property and can deliver the benefits up to 10 times the initial cost the united nation is telling that we must develop the technologies technologies which will help us to monitor the onset of the disasters okay that means the disaster warning systems now we have cyclone warning systems okay uh, earthquake warning systems likewise we have to evolve or we have to innovate various ideas or the instruments so that we can we the human beings will be very warned very well in advance so that we can reduce the damage to the life as well as the property okay so these are the ways forward given by the united nations with respect to combating the climate change so this is all about the europe's wildfire incidents and the associated climate change issue okay and the various solutions given by the united nations organization thank you very much for watching this video